All right, now we have another advanced geometry project presented by one of our middle schoolers. Hi, my name is Fabian, and this is the total cube transformation. Basically, these all started out as cubes, and the math behind this is that if y using the same volume of this cube can be transformed into different figures, such as this one or this one. So, um, basically, this method is used by many architects uh, because uh, they don't want to start from scratch, so in order for them to not start over, they use this type of method. Also, they call it recycling. You can turn something new out of something old. So, uh, I will demonstrate once again how to transform this cube into another different figure. Okay, so this is 3x square. As you can see, this is this is very narrow. This is this is 2x square. So basically, the the smaller the number, the wider the parabola is. This bigger the number, the, the narrower the parabola is. And zero point z so one more example, 0 0.01 x square. So this is the, if it's like a decimal, it's going to be similar to this, basically. Very cool. You already have a head start. So now you know a little bit more about algebra before you even teach, learn algebra in high school. Alright, this project is called the Hovercraft. It's presented by two of our sophomores at Harmony Science Academy Houston High and it is a physics project. It's by far one of the most interesting projects and they're always busy and their stand is always the busiest because it's very interesting. Now as you can tell, if you look at the machine, that's basically a leaf blower that they're using as an engine. This just shows how versatile Harmony projects are and how we teach students to apply STEM to even things that they don't technically, they don't necessarily think will work. Ben, would you like to talk more about your project? Yeah. Okay, so basically what we have here is a hovercraft. And underneath there are skirts and a battery. So as we lift this up, as you can see, there's a skirt. Uh, Matthew will explain how it actually works. Okay, so once we turn on the leaf blower, air gets pushed into this skirt and it allows, this skirt allows air to build up inside of the skirt. And basically just these holes make it so that the air doesn't build up too much and um, basically just blow up. Tell me, how can you apply this to real life and how has this helped your presentation skills? And I do know you guys had to make a website as well. Well, you can apply this through military and commercial. Military because you can use a hovercraft, which is a bit more silent than a boat, and it's amphibious, so you can go do land and water operations silently. And commercial, as you're going through the tours and looking through the mountains, as you're on a tour through a different country, these are how you can improve. And what we learned is a lot of physical properties. Matthew can tell you that. Um, well, we learn air, um, air pressure when the when the leaf blower is pushed into, uh, when the leaf blower is turned on, the air is pushed into the um, skirt, which produces air pressure. And then uh, we learn torque. Basically, when we spin people around on on the hoverboard, and that's basically movement um, in certain directions. That's torque. 